Hey guys, this is Pharaoh's Visor again, part 3 of my videos on how to update various flashcards for the 1.4 update on the DSi. Anyways, um, as you all know, the DSi updated to 1.4 and all the flashcards don't work anymore, unless of course you update it. So, I don't know if you can see this, but the stash of Ace Card 2 Eyes came in today for me. Um, I don't know if anyone else noticed, but recently the boxes have gone from cheap to cheaper. They they keep getting thinner. Anyways, um, so let's get these open. There's two methods of by which the Ace Card team uh, is updating their that uh, you can update your cards. They supply two files and they work differently. So I thought I might show you guys how differently it means. Um, so the first one you can just uh, make sure the spring works first. Turn it on. I already had the files prepared so to save some time. Not this again. I'm not quite sure why but then the Ace Card 2, when you bring them brand new out of a box, you have a bit of connection issue, and then it just starts working after a few tries, like, without any problems anymore. So, here it is. See? First try, it doesn't really work. I'm not quite sure why. It's only recently, the recent batches. But they work fine afterwards. So, um, you obviously have to have the Ace Card menu set up, because you need to run the software. This is software based, so you you need to have a DS that can boot a file before you update your Ace Card. And here it is. The first one they supplied is called Ace Card 2i Firmware Update 1.4 DSi. Note the DSi part. The second file is for DS Lite. And uh, I'll show you how it goes. First one. Turn it on. It says Ace Card 2i firmware update 1.4, chip ID, hardware ID, bunch of random codes. Um, this program may damage your Ace Card 2i cartridge. It has a very small chance. You should know what you are doing before you continue. Um, you guys are watching this video, so I guess you know what you're doing now. Are you sure you want to continue? Press start. Okay, I'll do it. Press any other keys. Cancel. So press start. And updating. Do not turn off DS. Progress at 0%. So, uh, I don't know if you... Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't use macro, but it goes by pretty fast. It's at 20% now and goes up in increments of 5. It's... Uh, if you looked at my last video, the Supercard DS1, 8 minutes of waiting, and this one's at 65% already, so I guess we'll just wait it out. Remember, the Ace Card 2i needs to find a way to boot the file, so if you already have a 1.4 DSi, you have to borrow someone else's DS or something or some way to do that. Anyways, it's done, so it tells you to reboot. This is a 1.3 um, DSi, so this isn't a true test, but you can see that they rewrote the icon for Danny Phantom, and that's just a sign that works, that the update's complete. And I know for a fact that these updates work with 1.4. Anyways, you can see this micro SD is specially prepared for this. And now, I mentioned that the Ace Card team supplied two, two separate files. So, here's my DS Lite, and another two DSi cartridges. So, plug it in. Turn it on. And check it out. Um, keep in mind that if you had like 
a different style of reading. Uh, it says DS program file, so you can't differentiate the two. So you can click select to view it differently, and now you can see AceCard 2i firmware update 1.4 DS Lite this time. Ah, oh, sorry, I have a broken top screen, so bear with it. Before update, please eject the card and insert it again. Um, it might be interesting to let you know that if you have a micro SD in it, then it doesn't work anymore. So you need a blank cartridge. So stick it in, press B to continue, and it says the same thing as before. So press start, OK, I'll do it and it prog progresses. What this is, is um, so you can update several firmwares at, or several ACE cards at once. So um, I guess this is for retailers or people like me with dozens of ACE cards. So yeah, I don't plan on updating all my ACE cards. I'm just going to keep them at with the old firmware. But it might be nice to have a few that are 1.4 um, support it. So 85, 90, again I'm so sorry that I didn't use a macro right now. Update is done, press start for the next card or just reboot the DS. So let's move on to the next card. And press start. Card error, try to reinsert. Uh oh, that's not good. Okay. Well, this is a brand new one, so I guess. Press start again. Card error, try and reinsert. I guess it's time to break in another ace card. So this would be cart number four. Press start. Card error, try and reinsert. Maybe I do need the micro SD. There we go. I guess I did need the micro SD. Sorry about that. Uh, I didn't actually have any experience updating, so I'm just doing this as I go. I have a perfectly fine 1.3 DSi, so I didn't see the need to. And now all my carts support um, 1.4, so I guess I can finally update and get the Flipnote Studios. I don't know if you can see, um, it's at 90. Update is done, press start for the next card or just reboot DS. So I guess this time I'll just try and update the last one. Press start. Ah, oh, card error. Okay, never mind. I guess this might be a faulty one. So, there you have it. I just got three 1.4 Ace Card 2 eyes. So, um,. Thanks for watching, check for in my next video, I will be doing the iPlayer now. Thank you.